been a while since I've done one of these, but here is a mini reflection on this week's lectionary passage. And as always, you can go to my substack for the full reflection. In May 2023, the U.S. Surgeon General released a report entitled Our Epidemic of Loneliness and Isolation. And the report discussed how even before COVID, half of U.S. adults reported experiencing loneliness. The report also goes on to detail the negative impacts of loneliness and being disconnected from others. For instance, loneliness can lead to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. There are no easy, quick fixes for the loneliness epidemic. The reality is that some of the fixes require systemic responses. It is easy to view loneliness as an individual problem in isolation from other ills but that plague our society, such as poverty, gun violence, racism, queerphobia, but all of these issues are tangled up together. Re decreasing loneliness not only requires individual changes and habits, but society willing to tackle injustices. Now you may be thinking, that's a lot. Where's the hope in all that? This week's scripture readings ask us to hold on to two truths. One, God's ever faithful presence and two, God's promise that eventually there will be no more weeds. Psalm 139 is one of my favorite Bible verses, especially the verses selected. These verses serve as a reminder that no matter where we go, God is with us. But I will be honest, when I'm in the midst of my own struggles with loneliness, it hasn't always been helpful when other people have said, oh, don't worry, God is with you. Because oftentimes, those words were used to dismiss the very real anguish I was experiencing. But the idea of God being with us is not supposed to be cliche or a platitude used to dismiss difficult conversations or ignore painful realities. But it is supposed to be a radical truth that we hold on to, one, one that gives us the courage and strength to navigate our own loneliness while advocating for a society that cares for all. The truth of God being with us doesn't always soothe our pain, but it gives us the strength to work through the pain. Truth number two, God would destroy the weeds. For me, what is at the heart of this passage is that even in the midst of the evil in this world, even when it feels as if we cannot possibly tackle all the weeds without causing harm to the wheat, God says, don't worry, I got your back. Obviously, this doesn't mean that we don't advocate for justice and push back against oppressive institutions. We absolutely need to, but we also hold on to the idea that we do not do this work alone. Even when it feels as if injustice is winning, we know that ultimately, God will have the last word.